We have to knock our head here, a.k.a. Brother of the Judah. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Joshua chapter 8, and we'll be looking at verses 28, 29, and 30. And it reads, And Joshua burnt Ai and made it a heap forever, even a desolation unto this day. And the king of Ai, he hanged on a tree until evening tide. And as soon as the sun was down, Joshua commanded that they should take his carcass down from the tree and cast it at the entering of the gate of the city and raised thereon a great heap of stones that remaineth unto this day. Then Joshua built an altar unto the Lord God of Israel in Mount Ebal. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise, and the precious and the powerful and precious name of the Son of the Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord Brothers and sisters Joshua chapter 6 is Where it describes Where the children of Israel Handed The, 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 the people of Jericho A great defeat Where the walls of Jericho Came crumbling down And, and this was By way of God But at the, the hands of the the, the, the people of God and as they were going through the ruins of Jericho the leader Joshua uh, announced a curse on the ruins of Jericho and as they were leaving through uh, a man by the name of Achan he took notice of all the, the spoils in the, the ruins of Jericho and he took it and, and, and put it in his camp. And then the, the nation of Israel, you know, continued on. So they came up to a nation called Ai and without consulting the Lord, the, the nation of Israel just felt like, hey, we, we, we did this great defeat against the people of Jericho. So this this town of Ai, they ain't nothing. So let's let's go attack them. And when the nation of Israel went to attack Ai, what turned out was the people of Ai attacked the nation of Israel and lives were lost in, in, in the nation of Israel. And they, they got uh, defeated by that little town of Ai. And so Joshua, you know, couldn't understand that. So he prayed to Jehovah God and then Jehovah God said, that, you know, to to Joshua, the leader, hey, there, there's sin in the camp. You got an accursed thing. I ain't gonna continue with y'all until you take care of the, the, this accursed thing. You know, you, I, I I can't do nothing. You know, uh, uh, Jehovah God was telling um, Joshua. So then Joshua then was like, okay, we gotta find this this accursed thing because there's sin in the camp. So. He went through all the tribes and to, to find out what, what this accursed thing. And uh, he, he came to the tribe of, of, of Judah and and lo and behold, he found out that it was in Achan's, uh, uh, Achan's camp. And, and and he said, Joshua was like, hey, tell me, confess, what, what happened? And then, you know, a Aiken said, look, yeah, I, you know, I've sinned against, you know, I've sinned. I, I, I confess. I've, I've sinned. I, I took, I looked at all the, the garments and the money and the silver and, and the gold and, 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 you know, I covered it and then and I took it. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I did that. He, so he confessed, and, you know, his, his sin and he re was remorseful. But, um. What happened was was because they're under the law, you know, uh, they they had to deal with it soundly. So all of the, the, the tribes of Israel, you know, took um, Achan and his family and all his goods, and they went to a valley, and the family went there, and then all of all twelve tribes of Israel, you know, took rocks and they threw it at them and you know, stoned them and then burned them because they were under the law. And that's the way they, they had to take care of that 
problem. So then in Joshua chapter 8, now, now Jehovah God says, all right, you know, no need to fear. Um, and, and ministered to the children of Israel. They went and um, to, to Ahai. At this time, they round, soundly defeated them. And, and in soundly defeating them, they, the nation of Israel took their king, the king of Ai. And let's pick that up in um, Joshua chapter 8, uh, verse 28, where it says, And Joshua burnt Ahai and made a heap forever, even a desolation unto this day. And so watch this in verse 29. And the king of Ahai, he hanged on a tree. You know, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who's also a king, he hung on a tree. He hung on a cross. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law by being a curse for us. For as written, cursed is everything that hangs on a tree. And we see um, this Gentile king, king of Ai, was hanged on a tree until evening time, evening tide. And as soon as the sun was down, Joshua commanded that they should take his carcass down from the tree. You know, in John chapter 19, when after Jesus said in John chapter 19, verse 30, was that it is finished when he took or became our sin offering, took the sins of the whole world, and, 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 and he said, it is finished. And the, the, the people was like, okay, we got to hurry up because uh, it can't hang there too long. Got to get ready for the Passover. So then they were going to go to break the leg of our Lord and Savior Jesus, but they saw that he was dead already. And because they wanted to hasten the death because... And we see here, Joshua commanded that they should take his carcass down from the tree and cast it at the entering of the gate of the city and raise it on great heaps of stones that remaineth unto this day. So um, they, they wanted to hurry and bring him down, just like with our Lord and Savior Jesus, the king of kings, who they wanted to hasten his death to, to prepare for the... The, the celebration and, and then and then watch this in verse 30 then joshua built an altar unto the lord god of israel in mount ebal so the, 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 joshua built again he's building this for the nation of israel he built this altar by a mount ebal and so let's look what the Bible says about Mount Ebal. And in Deuteronomy chapter 11, praise the Lord. <laughs> in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 29, it says, And it shall come to pass when the Lord thy God hath brought thee into unto the land whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessings on Mount Gerizim, and the curse upon Mount Ebal. So we have Mount Gerizim, where the blessing is. And then we have Mount Ebal, where the curse is. And Joshua makes an altar unto the Lord God in the Mount of God of Israel in Mount Ebal. So in the middle is the altar and flanking it is Mount Gerizim for the blessing and Mount Ebal for the curse. And so let's look at another instance about this Mount Ebal and especially Mount Gerizim. And it's in Deuteronomy chapter 27. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and in Deuteronomy chapter 27, we see in verse 11, this is Moses now giving the instructions to the, the children of Israel. And he says this in Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 11. And Moses charged the people that day saying, These shall stand upon Mount Gerizim to bless the people. 
when ye are come over Jordan, Simeon and Levi and Judah and Issachar and Joseph and Benjamin. So that those tribes will stand at Mount Gerizim, which stands for the blessing. And then watch this, verse 13 of Deuteronomy chapter 27. And these shall stand upon Mount Ebal. So Gerizim to bless the people. Mount Ebal to curse. And then it's these tribes. Reuben, Gad, and Asher, Zebulon, Dan, and Naphtali. And so we, we see, and just take notice in the wording. We see when it comes to Mount Gerizim, it says to bless the people. To bless the people. But when we look to Mount Ebal, it says to curse. See, it's not in God's heart to curse the people. It's in God's heart to bless the people. You don't see it says to curse the people. No, because that's not the heart of God. The heart of God is to bless the people. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and, and so Mount Gerizim, to bless the people. Gerizim, to bless the people. Mount Ebal, to curse. And so it's not saying that, you know, the, 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 this tribe is cur and then in favoring for. No, it's the, 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 the Mount Gerizim is to bless the people. Mount Ebal is where the curse is. So we go now to what Joshua is doing when it says in verse 30 of Joshua chapter 8. And then Joshua built an altar after he hung that king of Ai and put a great heap and made an altar pointing to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, what he's going to do on the cross. And, and, and notice, he built an altar unto the Lord God of Israel in Mount Ebal. And why Mount Ebal? Because that's where the curse is, and that's what. And when 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 Jesus, who Galatians chapter three, verse thirteen says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So the altar is going to be on the curse, so that the that that Jesus, pointing to Jesus Christ, that He redeems the people from the curse. Redeems us a curse law, for it's written, cursed is everything that hangs on the tree. Like the king of Ai was hanging on the tree. So that the blessings of Abraham could come unto the Gentile, that they might receive the promise of the of the spirit by faith. And 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 this is how's this done? That they might receive it through faith in Jesus Christ. And so the altar on the Mount Ebal to redeem from the curse. And then watch this in verse 33 of Joshua chapter eight. It says this, and all Israel, so all 12 tribes of Israel and their elders and officers and judges stood on this side, the ark and on that side of the ark. Okay, what? How many tribes on this side? Okay, and on that side, before the priests of the Levites, which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, as well the stranger, as he that was born among them, half of them over against Mount Gerizim to bless the people, and watch this, and half of them over against Mount Ebal. That's where the curse is. As Moses, the servant of the Lord that commanded before, that watch this, that they should bless, <laughs> that they should bless the people of Israel. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. <laughs> Let me see that? That was the heart of God. He wants to bless the people. Okay, let me start. Again. May the Lord bless.
bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance. you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in heaven, to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling, and present you for us in the presence of the Lord, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forever. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless <laughs> a God they love. Oh, praise the Lord.